everyone, it's Hex here, H -X, uh, and welcome to my channel. Um, thank you so much for clicking on my video wherever you are right now on the planet, in the world. Welcome to my YouTube zone. If you don't know who I am, I'm that African first of all. I'm a singer, songwriter, rapper, beat maker, all around music connoisseur and music lover. And uh, today I'm proper excited. Like. <laughs> we waited 10 years for this shit. And um, I'm glad it's here. I'm glad it's here. Like the wait is over. Um, I'll be diving into a reaction with Drake and J. Cole. This one is called First Person Shooter. Um, oh my goodness me. 10 years, bro. The last collab that we had from these guys was way back with Jody, um, Jody C. Freestyle. And before that, it was um, um, in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. Uh, J. Cole's Friday Night Lights mixtape. So we waited <laughs> is it 10 or 12 years like for another collaboration and there we have it like I've seen the snippets on um on um or rather I've heard the snippets on um Instagram because of obviously I follow J. Cole on Instagram and Drake but um we're definitely gonna listen to the full song right now. See, I've been talking for so long, but let's just dive in. So um the Hex Music Madness playlist 2021, 2022 2023 is available right now where I post my original songs um, not only on YouTube right here but on Spotify, Amazon Music, everywhere. If you want to tap in and just show me some love, I appreciate you in advance for doing that. You can just type H-E-X-X -X on any streaming platform you got and I'm going to pop up, show your boy some love. You can hit the like button. I appreciate you for doing that. You know, it helps the video, the algorithm and um, you can also comment your thoughts what part of the song that you like. Which fan you are, Drake, Cole, what song do you appreciate more? And um, hit that subscription button and a bell notification so you get notified when I post a new song, post a new reaction video. Uh, if you want to support the channel, the super chats, the super thanks are right there, or you can hit the PayPal link below. Having said that, we're gonna dive in right now <laughs> without further much to do. Let's go in. So I got my shades on. This is Drake, and this one's called First Prison Shooter. Let's see what it's all about. They're on me. I'm getting cooked. Check my six. Check my six. She's crazy. <laughs> Fuck. It's funny already. <laughs> I know it's gonna be funny. Hello? No, 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 no. Everything's good here. Everybody is working, working hard. Nobody has left their desks all day. I've been keeping an eye <laughs> on them. Thank you. Thank you, sir. First person shooter mode, we turning your son to a funeral. To them niggas that say they want office, you better be talking about working in Cuba codes. Yeah, them boys had a lot, but I knew the code. A lot of niggas debating my numero. Not the three, not the two, I'm at UNO. Yeah. Numero UNO, me and Drizzy, this shit like the Super Bowl. Man, this shit then it big as the... Difference is it's just two guys playing shit that they did in the studio. Niggas usually send their verses back to me and they be terrible just like a two-year-old. I love a dinner with some fine women when they start debating about who the gold. I'm like, go ahead, say it then. Who the gold? Who the gold? Who the gold? Who the gold? Who you bitches really rooting for? Like a kid that had bad from January to November, nigga. It's just doing cold. Super Bowl. Niggas so thirsty to put me in beef. No. I sat in my words and start looking too deep. I look at the tweets and start sucking my teeth. I'm letting it rock because I love the mystique. Bye. I still want to give me a song where I beat. Can't trust everything that you saw on IG. Just know if I diss you, I make sure you know that I hit you like I'm on your call ID. I'm naming the album to fall off. It's pretty ironic because it ain't no follow for me. Still in this bitch getting bigger. They waiting on the kid to come drop like a father to be. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it Kate Dad? Is it Aubrey or me? We the big three like we started a league. But right now, I feel like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> yeah, Muhammad Ali. The one that they call when this shit ain't connecting no more. Feel like I got a job in IT. Rhyming with me is the biggest mistake. The Spider Man meme is me looking at Drake. It's like we recruited your homies to be Demon Deacons. We got him attending your wake. 
Hey, how the gang got away from the bars, man, this shit like a prison escape. Everybody steppers with fucking it, everybody breakfast, and I'm about to clear up my plate. <laughs> when I show up, it's motion picture, blockbuster, the goat with the golden pen, the top toucher, the spot rusher, spray this whole shit up, the crap duster. Not rusher, but apply pressure to your cranium, cold's automatic when aiming them, with the boy in the status of stadium. You I'm trying crazy. <laughs> legit excited i still am i still got fucking goosebumps like my heart is still racing like right now i don't even know where to start that's why i hate reacting to songs like this because i literally need to like rewind it back break down every single bar but watching it like hearing it right now like completely for the first time i'm watching the video as well okay let's break down the video the video okay hopefully this doesn't stretch too long but you know i love talking uh, <laughs> talking about music so um the video was crazy so many references in the video so let's put the song aside the video you had the the spider-man meme that it's the 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 play on that is like the spider-man meme is like me looking at myself that sort of thing so obviously cole cannot compare himself with someone lower than himself so obviously it's drake so they're both in that legendary status right there. So it's more of like two legends can coexist in this ecosystem. That's what it's trying to say. And the part, the, um, the part that I brought that part of the whole song there um, with the Spider-Man meme was really, really funny. And we all know Drake Loki likes making comedic videos as well. Not just taking the video too serious. We've seen that in like um, Laugh Now, Cry Later. You've seen that best I ever had. So I pre... I appreciate Drake for doing that because uh, it's a um, consistency of some sort and um, it always makes me extra intrigued whenever I watch his videos because it's like I end up laughing, I end up smiling, I end up like whoa, I end up like shit, that sort of thing. So it was cool. They're not part of uh, um, him and Cole playing chess. That is, if you know, I think it was a year ago, Messi and C. Ronaldo like did a picture and seen the reference right there that was really really good really really cool that picture was legendary right there and it's like yeah you feel me that sort of thing i didn't even know that they, they took note of um, stuff like that but the fact that they did that and made reference to that you know definitely that 
that that is just a vibe right there. Paying homage like goats in two different two different aspects, like two different yeah, one in football, the other in music. But there you go, like that reference was really really crazy. The um, um, dunking contest as well, that was crazy as well. The fact that Drake just did like the web slick shot and then <laughs> took the ball back <laughs> through it. <laughs> Went around the world twice and then dunked in Toronto. No, nah, that was crazy. Like, so many references, like, from the top of my head right now. But it, it's the, the tennis championship. <laughs> the tennis championship, that was just silly. Flipping silly, but it was quality and I loved it. The, oh, my goodness. It was really, really good. It was really good. And then the final reference there of, of I'm one away from Michael. Like, Drake is freaking silly. If you, I grew up on that scene. It's like, uh, Michael, uh, um, the greatest, the greatest hits. I think it was the greatest hit CD. I had like this one and this two, but it was a um, part on the video on the mini movie of some sort where michael's statue was unveiled that sort of thing and drake just decided to do that stupid shit right there <laughs> for himself as well but yeah still paying homage to michael as well and still kind of kind of like saying that he is he is what he is that sort of thing um and then wearing the glove as well <laughs> and i think cole said on his ig that he's gonna tell his kids there wasn't a michael video cole is silly as well cole is on that silly shit as well but there you go then you're not diving into like um the lyrics now spend like a good three minutes talking about like <laughs> the video but the lyrics obviously the one that hit me like my brain just picked up on is that same thing that Cole keeps telling you guys that like, he keeps saying it like if I'm dissing you I'm gonna diss you and say it to your face like color ID yeah that sort of thing I'm not gonna low-key diss you and then you're like who did this nigga diss no I'm saying it straight to your face. That sort of thing. And I don't really care. That's just how it is. Um, that Then the part where it was like that. I'm calling this the, my next album The Fall Off. But technically I've not fallen off. You get what I mean as well? Like Drake talking about like the girls. Um, Aline, Claudine, all of them. And it's you know, because of why is that nigga bro? <laughs> He has all these chicks on speed down, sending him new shots. What are we talking about? It's there, it's there, but he don't give a shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was just crazy. The, the, the friendly, beautiful competition between both of them, but you still see the respect and the mutual love at the same time. And these guys are still on their prime. Ten years running, they're still killing shit, which is just crazy. For me, personally speaking, I love Drake. I love Cole. But for me, personally speaking, uh, um, this song was kind of like, you know, the way he got chopped off, like Drake's part. Uh, um, he did the initial first bar um, with the chorus and then left Cole to rap the rest. That part of the song was really good. I think, personally, in my opinion, it should just stuck there. Um, but the second part where Drake started rapping, obviously from the wolf turning into like human and all that, rapping, um, that part of the song, I didn't really like it so much. Obviously, Drake's bars were still clean, were still dope, but um, I think it should have just left with that, the initial, that, that, the beat right there for the first three or four minutes. That was, that's the hype right there. You, like, you can play that anywhere and you just get the hype, you know? You know what I mean? So he should have left with that. Him and Cole probably maybe tossed in another verse and then just let the beat run. You get that sort of thing. Legendary shit. But um, I think he was trying to like copy, you know, him and Future. Him and Future, uh, um, what was the name of the song again? But you know the song I'm talking about working in the studio as usual. That, that part, right? The first part with him and Future, the first one or two minutes with Drake rap, that was the sweetest part of the song for me. And then Future's part came in, and um, I didn't really like the way the beat just, the, or the song just went, like, I wouldn't say left, but it just, I lost interest after that. I was like, it should, Future should have just continued with that same beat as Drake was going on. 
Um, same thing with sickle mode as well. The the way it started, sun is down, freezing cold. Do, 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 do. They should have gone and have gone down and pick them all. Should have continued along with that. But then it for some reason it just slowed down and turned into like a maze of like two, three, four, five, six different songs, and then you're like, you had a perfectly hype tune right there. You should have just gone with that momentum. But all in all, this song was fire. Low key, low key, Cole murdered the whole shit. But <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Cole murdered that shit. He bodied that shit. Cole bodied that shit. But shout out to Drake. I'm still a Drake fan. I'm still a Cole fan. I always love these two guys, man, for real. Oh, man, the back of my head aches because I'm, I'm smiling, I'm excited, and I'm having goosebumps all over. But please, if you like the video, comment your thoughts. Hit that subscription button and the bell notification so you get notified when I post a new song, post a new reaction video. If you want to support the channel, the PayPal link is below. You can hit the super chat or the super thanks. Hit that like as well so that it can help the algorithm. And you know how we do. See the next reaction video. Hit your double X. Signing out. Peace.